Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. For the newcomers, my name is Zidi. I wish you an amazing Sunday on this 19th of February already in 2023. Beautiful year here from Phuket in Thailand. Let's quickly jump into the charts uh, to show you what is happening this weekend and probably also what will happen the next week. So let's quickly jump into the first chart over here. Bam, bam. We have the four hour chart guys on Bybit. Uh, my fist is in the right place. They're a little bit bigger so you can enjoy my beautiful six pack coming soon over there. Uh, but now let's quickly jump into this chart and uh, show you what I see. I see that the Bam Bam indicator again did a beautiful trade on the four hour chart. Like we had a beautiful long over there. It called a short over there, so selling over there. Um, you could have also waited and sold over here when the candles closed down below the yellow stepping line. Uh, whatever you did, um, the profit would have been a massive profit of over here 8% or maybe in the top 14% without leverage. With leverage, way more. Now, you can't take that trade anymore, that one is gone. But there will always be a new trade, so never worry too much. If you want to take profit, take profit. There will be another train passing by and you jump that trade. Now, every time when that beautiful um, Bollinger Band, the blue lines, become tight like this, we can see it happening here again, Bitcoin will go sideways. Now, I don't think it's a perfect moment to take the long because the long is like only a, so a small profit and the risk is big. So why not just wait it out? Till we get more confirmations and then when the confirmations come in the blue line above the uh, white line uh, maybe more green no yellow at the bottom and all that stuff maybe the white line should start at 50 levels instead of the six, 67 levels then again you would take that trade okay if you want to have access to the bam bam indicator and everything and then do check over here the bitcoinfamily.com products and you will find all the stuff over here i'm going to show you on the next chart why i think and um, there's a very important time because look i drew this already for some time ago uh this is the day chart we're zooming out slowly there's a yellow line i hope you still remember it i drew it way before i told you guys we will go up we will come down we will be to retest that white dotted line and we will go up again as that is how bitcoin moves and we do move like that and at the moment if you look very closely, we are above that volume that we needed to break. And from this volume till the next resistance is around the level of 28,000. So if we can stay above this level, 24,000, and try to break above 25,000, 25,200, I think is the magic number somewhere. If we break that one, we could take it all the way up to 28K. And then again, all those longs that you can take now because of the MMM indicator are massive longs. And yes, there is upward um, room over here also for the white line and the blue uh, Bitcoin Bam Bam indicator line. So the golden cross again did what it always did. It pulled back first and bam, then it exploded again and probably will explode all the way till the next huge level of resistance, uh, which is around that 28 to 30k level. And why is that resistance, guys? If you look to the left on the chart, look here. That is all the volume that was at that level. And if we look even further back, all these dots, uh, all these uh, dips to that level and here over that level create that volume. So that's why they create that volume. Now, um, if you want to trade all of this, guys, then click the links down below the video to buy it because I'm only trading on buy it. I fully trust it. And if you click the links down below, you, you will get a page, my personal private lending page, where you get all the exclusive rewards and bonus. And it will mean $30 for just signing up, up to $30,000 US dollar bonus, depending on how much that um, you deposit. You don't have to pay trading fees on spot, and you still can uh, participate in the lucky draw and the trading competition. So click the link, then fill your email, fill a password. No. Okay, we see then you have a bybit account and you will be trading shortly now and then you watch my videos and you just take the trades that i tell you to trade because of the bam bam indicator bam we zoom out to the weekly uh, on the weekly we can see that resistance you know the resistance that we are talking about now is exactly the 200 weekly moving average and the 200 weekly moving average is a 25,013. exactly that area is resistance and that is where that bearish cross, cross on the weekly well it doesn't mean shit because we never saw it before so we can't even um, calculate data about it but i think it will be turn around be turning around if we break that 200 weekly moving average again um, which should be happening and then if that happens look the last time we broke it was on august 2022 
So if we break it, that's a big moment. And if we are able to break it and do the same move that I showed you weeks before the, uh, the daily chart, if we break it and we go to that 28,000 level and we come back and we retest it and we move again then, then we can even reach a 35k level. And why 35k? If we look to the left, we can see over here, there is the next resistance. And then we could even come back again, you know, and we can go and do it again. That's, you know, we still have a long run all the way up to the halving, uh, which we can see over here, because the halving will be in March 20, 2024. So that's almost a full year of movements before we are at the halving. And yes, at that halving, I believe uh, we will be above that blue line, like always, like this is the halving. That blue line is a 21 uh, monthly moving average. So if I click it, you can see that. You see the 21 moving average on the source, it's on the monthly. Um, so around those halvings, we will be above that blue line. Here also, around that halving, we will be above that blue line. I think around that halving over here, we will be above that blue line. And the blue line at the moment is 33,000. At that point, probably 40k. So for me, the halving should be somewhere around that 40k level. So that means from here, now the 25k, we can go up to 30k, 35k, pull back again, come up again, and around that halving, then finally break that level of resistance and then take it to a new all time high, uh, which would, should be happening around November 2024 if we do what we have been doing all the time before. Just pause the video and read all the information on that chart so you understand why I um, are talking about these months and everything. Now, uh, at the moment, guys, there is some news that you need to look at. I have two more charts, but before I go to the charts, uh, please do pay some attention to this because a lot of people on Twitter are tweeting now, tweeting now about inscriptions. So you can add a picture on the Bitcoin blockchain. I just did it this morning with our beautiful Bitcoin car. I added that as an inscription to the Bitcoin blockchain. Now the question is, um, will that impact the Bitcoin block space and by that make the fees higher, higher, higher? There's a beautiful article on Bitcoin magazine. And so if you want to know more about inscriptions and everything, this one is uh, created by Pierre Rochard. You can see everything, how it works, uh, what it, for, and what kind of impact it could have on the Bitcoin block space of the box. Now, let's quickly jump into um, two more other charts, guys, that I really like. Bam, over here. Um, this is the first one. Uh, I think you will understand why I like this one, of course. It's not that difficult to understand because if we look at these beautiful colorful lines on the chart, um, we can see um, the amount of days since the halving. So at the, here is 365, 730, 1095 over there, 1460 over there. Now, we can see that at the moment we are at this level. We just went, went from that pinkish to bluish area. And that dot is over there. Now, from that dot to day 1095 after the halving, we can see what happened in the previous bull runs. So let's see what happened. From that dot to 1095 days after the halving, was the price higher than the dot or was it lower than the dot? The previous two times, look, here is the dot. Around that day, the price was way higher. Here was the dot. Around that day, the price was way higher. We are exactly again at that dot. Do you see that huge run to the dot? Huge run to the dot. It's like almost a copy here. Huge run to the dot. Huge run to the dot. Here it was only a small run to the dot. But after the dot, two day 1095 after the halving, we were higher in price. So if we look back to the past, we should be going up to that 35K level that everybody is talking about. Now, really cool chart. Now, there's one more chart that I want to share with you guys, and it's a beautiful chart. It is this one. And why is that a beautiful chart? Look, oh, wait. I, I, I should put, put my face just in between all the space and the difference of the return on investment. Because look, this is how Bitcoin is outperforming all those idiot stocks like Nasdaq, like 16% to year to day, year. SP 500, woohoo, 8%. Dow Jones, woohoo, 4%. I think gold is almost going negative. Bitcoin is at 48% already, guys. 48%. This is why you should be in Bitcoin and not in all of these. And also not in Euro and also not in Dollar. Because Euro and Dollar will be like equal to the gold or to zero level. We are at 48% plus already this year. And that is why uh, your core capital should always be BAM Bitcoin, guys. Bitcoin.
Bitcoin is the way to go. That was everything for this beautiful Sunday. I hope you really enjoyed all the information and all the charts. If you did enjoy the video, give the video a thumbs up, share with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and leave a comment. What do you think about these beautiful charts that I share with you on my Sunday when I should be chilling in the pool or on the sea? I'm doing this for you. Thank you. So thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Thank you. Bam.